Welcome to Shy Sense 773. Thank you so much for checking out my video. For those checking out my video for the first time, I just want to say welcome in. Thank you so much for viewing my video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, I would truly appreciate it. Today's video is a super haul video. It's been a minute and honestly, uh, I've been really busy from around the holidays all the way up until this point. Work has been beating me up, but we're here. I have so many fragrances, uh, 17 to be exact, to talk about. Yes, you heard it. 17 fragrances overall to talk about. So let's start talking about all of these fragrances. The first fragrance and fragrance house that I want to talk about is from Dreamhouse Securio. Dreamhouse Securio actually has some fragrances that are coming out uh, in February. So this is going to be for their Valentine's Day um, fragrances. There's four to be exact. Those four fragrances are in a new line. So Vincent actually created a couple of these fragrances to kind of follow suit with um, with a film that he created that takes place in the 19 in 1929 um, then one of the other fragrances is a fragrance that he created uh, with his mother in mind so Vincent unfortunately lost his mother and uh, he created a fragrance that kind of captures his thoughts of his mom but let me first talk about these fragrances. So I'm going to talk about uh, Jete Vu, I believe the, the name of the fragrance is. So uh, Jete Vu has the notes of opium, vanilla, magnolia, ambre, incense, musk, and brandy. Then you're also going to get sandalwood, woody notes, peru balsam, nutmeg, and rose. So let's go ahead and smell this fragrance. And this fragrance is actually going to be, um, and this one smells really good. This one's going to be uh, one of the fragrances that's in the main line of pricing, I believe. So somewhere around that like 130 to 140 range is typically or or like 120 to 140 range is what what this would sit in but this one is really really nice uh, i've actually worn this on skin before um comes out and you get a lot of like florals and vanilla up top and then you'll start to get like a bit of that incense and musk in this fragrance and the rose kind of really ties this one in very well you do get some of those woody notes as well the sandalwood is really nice in this fragrance but overall a beautiful beautiful fragrance um this one i would say this one is very unisex but it definitely leans a bit more masculine uh so if you're looking for a fragrance that has like a bit of florals but also has like a bit of masculinity in it this one is a really good choice so again this one was a jeté vu the next fragrance that i want to talk about is going to be uh coralai so coralai has the notes of jasmine stargazer lily jasmine uh viter liqueur then it also has lily of the valley and musk i'm going to assume this one leans very uh femme which comes out and it it's funny i get like a buttery vibe in this fragrance um i don't see butter in there but it has like this really nice butteriness it's sweet it almost has like a um it has a, a specific candy vibe uh butterscotch it almost has a bit of a, a butterscotchy smell to it um but you also get the florals that are in this fragrance as well it's very very nice i i do like this fragrance a lot 
if I'm not mistaken, I believe on skin, this one on my skin did lean a bit more femme, but I did enjoy this one a lot. Um, again, this one was Coraline. The next fragrance is going to be Blush of Dawn. So Blush of Dawn has the notes of rose and watermelon. And when I saw the note breakdown of just rose and watermelon, it was so intriguing. Um, I think this one, this one was very nice. It, it almost even has, I think the rose is more of a prickly rose. There's a little bit of jamminess to it as well. The watermelon isn't overly sweet. This fragrance honestly isn't very overly sweet. It's a a very good mixture of florals with a bit of sweetness. But overall, I think I enjoyed this one the most on my skin. Uh, this one was a bit more linear where the other ones kind of uh, developed into uh, something different. So they actually like kind of took you for a ride where this one, what you smell in the beginning is what you're going to get in the end. But again, this one was the Blush of Dawn. And the reason why I didn't show it is because the uh, the tag actually fell off, so. And then finally, the final fragrance that I wanna talk about is Evelyn Cecile. So Evelyn Cecile is that fragrance that I was talking about that was the fragrance for Vincent's mom. Uh, this fragrance includes the notes of Bulgarian Rose, Moroccan Rose, Buddha Wood, Oud, Black Pepper, White Musk, Vanilla, Pearl Balsam, and Costas. So this fragrance is going to be a little bit more expensive. This one is in the 175 range, and these are all 50 mils. But this fragrance is really, really nice. It's, um, I think the mixture of the roses and the, the costas and the oud really make this fragrance what it is. Um, it's floral, it's dark, it's, it's also inviting as well. So there's a lot of different things. It's, um, it's very sweet but it's not overly sweet. It's um, it, it's almost like, um, it's almost like a mother's hug. I'll be honest with you. It's uh, it's really nice. It's not, it's not old. It's it's a mature fragrance, but it's not old. So there are very mature roses that just come off as as like overly old. But this one isn't that. Um, it's it's such a different mix. I really like this one a lot as well. I uh, wore this one on skin. This one was really, really nice. Um, it's very good in the cold weather. I think this one um, is probably the best in the weather right now, where the other three you can definitely wear all year round. I think you can wear this one all year round as well. But in the heat of the summer, this one's going to really knock people out. So you'd have to be careful with the sprays. But Vincent's fragrances are always very, very long lasting. So if you're looking for a long lasting fragrance line, this fragrance line is definitely amazing for that. So again, this was Evelyn Cecile. All right. So let's go on to the next fragrance house. The next fragrance house that I wanna talk about is from Primera Perfumes. Um, Primera Perfumes is out of Kuwait and I picked up two of their fragrances. If you've never seen their packaging before, let me find it in this mix of, uh, of boxes that I have. I have like a plethora of boxes. Like I said, 17 different fragrances but here's what the box looks like so it's a black box um there's actually a top that goes on it and we're going to talk about smoky jazz but there's a top that goes with it and then when you open the fragrance itself 
it opens up and it's in kind of like a coffin and then it also has a thanks and joy and then it has a card that actually tells all of the notes so let's talk about the notes of the fragrance so you're gonna get red apple peach and spices up top then in the mid you're gonna get vanilla chocolate cedarwood tobacco and bourbon cords and then finally in the base you're going to get hinoki wood sandalwood patchouli amber wood accords smoky accords agarwood and musk so what does all of that smell like let me go ahead and spray this and um honestly i've worn this one and i really do enjoy this one a lot but it gives me similarities to um specific fragrances that uh like angel share it has i think it's because of the apple cord it reminds me of it it doesn't smell exactly like it but what it smells like is a boozy smoky tobacco-y apple accord is what i'm getting and then as the fragrance starts to progress uh you're going to get more of the woody notes um it's this is such an excellent tobacco boozy apple fragrance if you're into those types of fragrances overall this one was definitely a great fragrance for me i think it was very powerful within the first couple of hours then it sits closer to the skin i was getting somewhere around the six to eight hour mark so this one lasts pretty well for the type of fragrance that it is overall uh this one was an excellent excellent purchase um also and this is what the bottle looks like um since i didn't say what the bottle looks like but i really enjoy what they've done with this bottle and how it looks specifically very very good bottle very good fragrance um the next fragrance from the line that i picked up as well is called lion oud so lion oud is probably my favorite between the two because it's so different from the other fragrances that i have so this one includes jasmine absolute cardamom orange and dried fruits in the top then in the mid you're going to get patchouli chocolate vanilla sandalwood salted caramel and fir balsam that salted caramel is amazing um then you're going to get indian oud cambodian oud amber musk and oak moss so let's spray this one and um i first off um smoky jazz is filling the room that is an amazing fragrance something that you definitely want to get your nose on um and then if you didn't see the sprayer so this one is just magical um you get a lot of there's like spiciness to it i almost smell like a um it's almost like peppery it's it's just it's so nice it's peppery there's um there's a lot of like I think that's patchouli because I'm getting a lot of the patchouli. So it's kind of like this, this dark chocolatey. I smell the salted caramel. This one, this one is amazing. Um, they do have samples, I believe on Max Aroma, which is where I picked this one up at. Um, you should be able to go on there. And I believe they also have a discovery set as well i believe they also have their own site but these go for like 250 uh on max aroma's website but if you sign up for some of their um i know they have their text messaging uh they do give certain discounts on some of these fragrances so uh definitely do that check this fragrance out actually honestly check both of the fragrances out um, these two are some of my favorites and I'm definitely going to continue to go through this house and smell all of their fragrances. 
The next fragrance line that I want to talk about is Mass Milano. And within Mass Milano, there is one of my uh, favorite perfumers, which is Cecile Zerokian. So I had to pick up these two fragrances. And if you're also a, friend of, a fan of Cecile Zerokian's work, um, you may know what these fragrances are. So the first fragrance that I want to talk about is a fragrance that's been out for a while, but this one is Tango. So Tango is this beautiful kind of um it's first off let me smell it again but it's kind of like this beautiful um ambery vanillic fragrance that i enjoy just smelling even in the air um tango has the notes of bergamot black pepper and cardamom then you're gonna get sandbag jasmine absolute damascus rose um you're also getting leather cords um there's benzoin vanilla bean um cumin patchouli musk and there's something called uh millilot uh absolute i didn't look that up so i'm not sure what that what that note is specifically but um overall this fragrance is so good I like the fact also that this is a 35 mil instead of a 30 mil. Um, you know, that extra five mil does, does something for people. But this one also comes in 100 mil. Again, got this one from, from Max Aroma. Uh, during the holidays, they had a sale on Mass Milano. So I jumped on that. I believe there is still a sale going on as well, but this one is so beautiful. I really love this one. Let me put this down so we can continue to go through these because again, there's a lot. <laughs> uh, the next fragrance is Petra. So Petra is a fragrance that reminds me of another fragrance that I have. And this one is the Hob from Kajal. Um, these two fragrances are very similar. Uh, the notes for Petra include bergamot, yellow mandarin, pink pepper, sandbag, um, or I'm sorry, pink pepper, sandbag jasmine, rose, uh, luca, luca, luca mat, I believe is what the note is, uh, fruity notes, incense, patchouli, benzoin, myrrh, leather, ambergris, and fusion is what this is. But when I sprayed these on skin, they were kind of similar, I'll be honest with you, but they're not the same. There's definitely a difference. They are kind of in the same realm of fragrance, but I believe that uh, Dahab is a, is a bit sweeter. Um, it's a bit richer. So I'm gonna spray them similar on similar sides. And Dahab is a lot fruitier where I think um, Petra is a bit more uh, sophisticated. Not to say that the hob is not sophisticated by no means, but there's more of a fruitier note that you're gonna get from the hob over Petra. Petra has more of a, it, it's more of a woody, more of a, a kind of a, I don't, I wanna say almost like a, a pencil woody note is what I get off of the paper, but on skin, they do meet at some point and then they go in their own direction like that. So excellent, excellent fragrances from Mass Milano. The next fragrance house that I wanna talk about is a fragrance house that you really wanna check out. This is a Chicago fragrance house. Um, I've actually spoken to the owner of Tamavichi, and that is the fragrance house, but this fragrance is Demigod. So Demigod is this amazing, amazing fragrance. Um, gosh, it is so smooth, and yes, it's masculine, but 
Can a woman wear this? Absolutely, a woman can wear this one. So this one has the notes of mint up top, cardamom and sage. Then you're gonna get mid notes of Turkish rose and Tuscan iris. Then the base is gonna be vanilla, musk, cinnamon, sandalwood, and amber. This one actually took my breath away. The way it smells, it's it's just classy, sophisticated. Um, if you want to smell clean and just smooth at work, this one is perfect. Very, very well work balanced. Um, I have a problem sometimes wearing fragrances at the job, but this one was definitely approved. Um, everybody was like, wow, that one is really, really nice. They say you can wear that one again. So uh, definitely one of my favorites from the line. This one is Tamavici's Demigod. And what you heard was me knocking down all the boxes that I had stacked up here. Um, let me pick some of these back up really quick. And the next fragrance that I want to talk about is Empyrean. So I ended up purchasing both of the fragrances because uh, Lua, which is uh, the owner of Tamavici, had a sale on these. These are normally about 220 or 230 because these are X traits. And um, I think I got these for like 150. So it was a really good deal on these fragrances. You can check out Tamavici's site. I believe he may have this still going on right now, but he may um, take it away pretty soon. But Empyrean is a very, very beautiful fragrance. It has similarities to a fragrance that I do like a lot from uh, uh, from the uh, Parfums the Marley line uh, because Parfums the Marley has uh, Delina and this one is pretty similar to it but it goes in a different direction this one has top notes of strawberry bergamot and nutmeg then your mid you're gonna get carnation damascus rose white musk and peony and then finally you're gonna get vanilla cedar cedar bourbon vetiver and bacor this one is very very nice honestly this one is a beautiful composition something that uh definitely for made for a woman but strong enough for a man like a secret so uh this one you definitely want to check out as well uh again if you go to tamavici's website tamavici actually sells uh, the two mil decants of this so you can get a um, you can test this one try it before you buy it um, overall very very nice fragrances very smooth uh, captivating again this one is Empyrean the next fragrance that I picked up is a fragrance from Initio and this one is must therapy um, if you've never smelled must therapy before this one is such a calming fragrance I've love this fragrance in the air i love it um sprayed on as well if i'm having a rough day this is like one of my go-to's very beautiful fragrance um this one includes white musk musk black currant bergamot mandarin orange magnolia um white sandalwood and hedion um such a beautiful and sexy fragrance uh, night out fragrance, also a very nice work fragrance. Um, I've worn this one to, again, calm myself down throughout the day. And if you're not familiar with the way that the bottles work, white bottles are for calming. I believe the purple bottles are for seduction. And I forgot what the black bottles are for, but the bottle colors are for something specific. So. Again, this one is Must Therapy. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about is a fragrance that I kept smelling back and forth constantly throughout the summer and honestly finally picked it up. 
but this one is 724 from MFK. This one is, I swear, I sprayed it on and I walked away and I was like, ah, not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. And one day I sprayed it on again and I was like, I have to have this fragrance. Like, I can't tell you how good this fragrance is to me. And because I'm a fan of the aldehydes, this one is a gorgeous fragrance. So top notes include aldehydes, uh, Calibrian, Bergamot, then you're going to get mid notes of Sweet Pea, uh, Egyptian Jasmine, and Mock Orange. And then in the base, you're going to get White Musk and Sandalwood. This fragrance is so good on skin. It's very florally at first, so you get lots of florals, lots of citrus, then all of a sudden, it turns into something else. Um, the citrus then really shines in this. The floral notes kind of take a back seat. Then you start to get that musk. The musk comes in, the aldehydes, the sandalwood, just really shines in this fragrance overall. Um, this is definitely one of my favorites from MFK, especially this year. This one again is 724. The next fragrance that I purchased was from the Zaharoff collection. So um, the three uh, YouTubers that are out there, I, um, I picked up all three last time and then I said this time, I wanted to just grab one at first, although the other two are absolutely amazing. And uh, I'll be honest, one of them I, I kept going back and forth and I still may pick up uh, the other two as well. But this one is from Curly Scents. And this one is, um, this one is of the Immortals. Um, the bottle to the packaging was so good. This fragrance is a beast. Um, it includes bergamot up top, honey, rum, sea salt, coffee, pure brandy, and then in the mid, you're gonna get cashmere wood, coconut, jasmine absolute, fig, praline, and tonka. And then finally, in the base, you're going to get musk, sandalwood, amber, vanilla, and oud. So my first day of testing this fragrance, I literally had three people stop me and ask me what I was wearing and said, it is so beautiful. It was this fragrance right here. I usually do a lot of layering, but that day I only tested this one fragrance. And I'm gonna tell you, this fragrance is so good one. This one, along with um, the other one from Ross, uh, you have to check out the one from Ross, especially if you're looking for a very mature fragrance. That one is, so good to me on skin. I also love Justin's as well, but I felt that um, the first one was, was really nice. The second one was very nice as well, but overall I fell in love with uh, Ross's and then I also fell in love with this one as well because of the sweetness in it and I'm a gourmand lover. But again, this one is of the Immortals. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about is from Boy Smells. So Boy Smells is a fragrance house that I, I talked about before. I have two other fragrances from them. They are a very, very nice fragrance line. You can actually find them in Sephora's, um, but this fragrance is called Less. So Less really caught my nose when I went in. First of all, I saw the fragrance and this is the top. So um, I saw the fragrance itself and I was like, you know what? I know what their fragrance line is like. Let me go ahead and check them out. Um, put this one on skin and immediately said, you know what? Ring it up, have to buy this one. This is really nice because it's a 50 mil 
that's under $100, so it's about 99-ish or 98 with tax overall, but um, this fragrance is so, so nice on. Um, it includes bergamot, cardamom, pink pepper, pomelo, osmanthus, jasmine, peony, and vanilla, ambroxan, moss, and cedarwood. What an amazing fragrance. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, it's, this one is beautiful. Uh, what happens is you get a lot of, you get a lot of sweet notes up top and then um, you get a lot of the woodiness and then towards the end of the fragrance, you're gonna get a heavily, a heavily powdery scent. That powderiness goes so far, goes a long way, but overall, excellent fragrance. This one again is called Less. Finally, the last fragrance house that I wanna talk about is Rirana. So Rirana comes in boxes like this, and I have three different fragrances from them. The first one that I wanna talk about is going to be vanilla tea. So you'll see the name of it on the bottom, but the bottles look the same up top. Vanilla tea has the notes of vanilla, sugar, blood orange, apricot, honeysuckle, pear, muskmallow, and lime. So this fragrance is more of a floral fragrance overall. It has like, you can smell the vanilla, you can smell the tea, the honeysuckle. It's a very, very smooth fragrance overall. This one is definitely perfect for the spring, for the summertime. Um, it's definitely gonna scream off your skin. I got about 10 good hours in the winter time, so I'm just excited to smell this fragrance when it gets a little bit warmer um it has been pretty nice here as well which i'm knock on wood we're not gonna jinx it if you had a really mild winter um the next fragrance that i want to talk about is honey amber so honey amber is amber honey argarwood oud cinnamon and patchouli this fragrance actually reminds me of another popular fragrance um this fragrance actually reminds me a lot of Graham and Potts Amber Miel. Um, when I smelled this, I immediately said, oh my gosh, I remember this fragrance. And I immediately started going through my stuff and smelling all of my fragrances. And I was like, I found it. So if you're a fan of Amber Miel, this one will knock your socks off as well. Um, this fragrance can basically take the place of this one if you don't have this fragrance. And I know that they've run out of this fragrance and they're, they're uh, making new batches of this one, but it's so similar. It's not the same, but it's so similar. I would say I get about a good 90% of similarity in this fragrance on my skin between the two. But then of course, you know, it goes a different way. But overall, this one is an excellent buy. Again, this one is Honey Amber. Finally, the last one that I wanna talk about is going to be Tonka Nutmeg. So Tonka Nutmeg, again, looks like this, and it has the notes of um, nutmeg, orris root, tonka bean, um, mastic, black pepper, saffron, styrax, apopanex, iris, caraway, musk, and vanilla. So this one also reminds me of kind of a mixture of two different fragrances. So in the beginning, when you spray this one, you get a lot of Royal Oud from Creed, and then it turns into Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. 
So this fragrance is so good. Um, I wore this one literally a couple of days ago and everybody thought I was wearing um, uh, Tom Ford's Noir Extreme and that wasn't the case. It was actually this fragrance. Um, this one is so magical on skin. You definitely have to try this one. Check it out from the brand. Again, I got this one from Max Aroma. Max Aroma had these on sale. Uh, you can check out most of these from Max Aroma other than Curly Sense Fragrance, which is on Zaharoff's website. Tamavichi has his own website, but uh, everything else is available on Max Aroma. But I just wanna thank you all again for hanging in there with me. I know this was a long video. I do have another video coming up. I still have to talk about some other fragrances that I did pick up, uh, a discovery set. So um, until the next video, have a blessed day and take care.